Meet my new favorite sewing pattern. Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore. If this is your first time here, we help you discover your love of sewing. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to this channel. But today, we are talking about my new absolute favorite sewing pattern, Sew House 7's Toaster Sweater Number 1. Now, I've made sweatshirts before, this one is by far the easiest and least frustrating, in my opinion, to make. The pattern pieces are very easily laid out. There aren't too many of them, there's only a few. And you can put it together very easily with your sewing machine. And in my case, I used the Brother Serger, and that made the job a lot easier. So if you make a lot of clothes, especially knits, I would definitely consider a serger. And the reason I picked option number one was actually because it didn't require any hemming. I do not have a cover stitch machine, so that's why I like the number one option is because you can complete it all with the serger and there's no finished edges or places where you need to hem because everything's doubled over. When I work with paper patterns, I don't actually cut out the tissue paper. I actually trace all of them onto tracing paper so that if my size changes or if I'm making it for someone else, I can cut out another copy and I have not lost the original. The pattern pieces weren't too bad to cut out. There aren't a ton of pieces, and everything was pretty easy to understand. I found the directions to be very helpful, and since I've made sweatshirts before, like the Grainline Studio Linden sweatshirt, I kind of knew what I was getting into. And actually, I would compare the toaster sweater number one with the Linden sweatshirt. The only big difference is the sleeves. This pattern has a tapered sleeve. The waistband is a little bit uh, wider, and of course, instead of the uh, very kind of narrow collar, this sweater has sort of a mock turtleneck. Now, I dislike standard turtlenecks very much. They make me feel really claustrophobic, but this one, because it's very loose, I, I'm loving it, I'm digging it. It kind of keeps my neck warm, but it also doesn't make me feel like I'm being choked or something. Tracing and cutting out the pattern pieces probably took me a couple hours, maybe two hours, and then from starting to cut my fabric to the finished product probably took me about two and a half for each sweater. And I did make two. I made one in a Cloud9 organic white and blue print. And the other one is the one I'm wearing. And this one is made out of this uh, polyester quilted kind of mini diamond fabric. To make this sweater I used the uh, Eversone Sparrow 25 and my brother Serger. And again, it didn't take me too long. For me, two and a half hours is actually pretty quick. I know for some of you, you could probably do it in, in half the time I did, maybe. This is a size small. My measurements are a little larger than the small, but I kind of felt like the sweater would have a little bit of ease to it, and it did. So it actually fits me pretty spot on. I did make one alteration. I shortened the sleeves just a hair because my arms aren't really that long. But other than that, I found the fit to be pretty perfect and it's very comfortable. So I'm a really big fan of this pattern overall. I could definitely see you making this in all kinds of different fabrics. I would love to make it in a chunkier sweater knit. Again, I kind of chose some, uh, some not so chunky knits to do this with, but I really love this pattern. It's super easy and I did not have even one moment where I was frustrated or where I didn't want to finish. I found the entire start to finish process to be very, very, very enjoyable. If you haven't tried a Sew House 7 pattern yet, you are definitely missing out. In fact, I would compare this pattern line to Grayline Studios, which I absolutely love. So if you like the fit and the simplicity of those styles, you'll love Sew House 7. And I cannot wait to get started on my Tea House dress. Maybe I can get it finished in time for spring. I don't know. Anyways, have you tried a Sew House 7 pattern yet? If so, let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. I'm Jennifer Moore. Thank you.